Thank you. It's a privilege to be here to talk about Saul. He was a great friend of mine, and I knew him for over 21 years. But I have a distinction of knowing him as the third person he met when he came to Rutgers University. At that time, he was being recruited by Dean Ernest Linton for Livingston College. And he came to the Queens Building to meet our then provost, uh, Richard Slater. And <laughs> they wandered down to my office because I was responsible for the beginning of what became our computer service activities. So Saul's interest was immediately in what type of support he could expect from the university. <laughs> Little did I realize that this would go on for 20 years. <laughs> questions and uh, pressure for additional support. Uh, Saul had, a, uh, had uh, an interesting formula for success in life, and he often uh, explained it to me. He said, uh, you need uh, very good people, Gene, <clears throat> and then you need very good ideas. And you put those together, and you'll do good work, and then we'll get the money you're always worried about. So, uh, he's tried that, and I think uh, very successfully implemented that philosophy here at Rutgers. And the money did come. Not always as much as he wanted, or not as often as he would like to see infusions for uh, computing equipment. Uh, but it did come, and uh, he did some pioneering work in establishing uh, the support for his own faculty in the Department of Computer Science. He was always concerned that they had the appropriate computing environment to be successful in their research and students uh, could be able to do their, their work. But he also was a good citizen. And uh, when called upon to help uh, in the state of New Jersey or at the higher levels of the university, he rose to those occasions. And uh, many of you may remember that in the uh, early uh, period, Rutgers uh, had a chancellor of higher education here in the state of New Jersey. And we may have another one. <laughs> Listen carefully to what I'm saying. And uh, during that time when we had a chancellor, uh, the chancellor viewed his role as uh, facilitating coordination and saving money wherever he could. So he said uh, to all of us who were involved with computing, <laughs> Why not share these expensive computers throughout the state of New Jersey? After all, you just need a telephone wire and uh, you can make it work. So there was a lot more to it than that. But Saul uh, rose to that and uh, joined some statewide <coughs> committees. And uh, to my great surprise, uh, went around interviewing all the faculty members in the state of New Jersey who were doing some type of computing. And he came back and he told our committee here at Rutgers, this is what these different individuals need. I mean, that was a lot of work, and yet he went ahead and did that. And uh, as a result of that, various types of sharing arrangements were worked out. We first shared for batch processing, then we shared for time sharing. And uh, then Saul came on the notion of distributed computing. And he began to say, hey, this is the way to go. But unfortunately, the state was now going down a certain path. And it was very hard to change that. But eventually, uh, it did work that he received the kind of computing he needed for his department. And the rest of the state evolved in the direction uh, of uh, its own computing needs by each institution. So that was a period of time when I learned something else about Saul that I've come to appreciate more and more. Uh, in these committee meetings, uh, he showed that he not only was a statesman, but he had a tenacity that was uh, unheard of. Some of the other senior administrators who were on the committee were like the provost or the uh, senior vice president for financial affairs. And Saul would get on the point and he'd argue that point till he got his way for an hour or more, and the rest of us would be falling off our chairs, <laughs> trying to keep up with him and stay, stay alert. But he would not give up till he uh, achieved his uh, objectives. So uh, with that, I would like to say that uh, as an administrator, he taught me uh, how to be successful in many ways. I was a junior administrator then. And 
as the years went by, I would go on visit with him and have lunch with him. And he would always update me on all of the goings on in the computing world, what was happening. And not only at Rutgers, but he continually tried to show me that we could do more by saying, and this is what Carnegie Mellon is doing, and this is what Stanford is doing, and why aren't we doing those things here? So he had that ability to, uh, to look ahead and to see what was going on, and he knew many of the uh, outstanding figures in computing. I think uh, the progress that we have made at computing at Rutgers is to a very large extent due to this uh, philosophy that so all have of hiring the best people, uh, getting good ideas, and uh, getting the support that's needed to bring it about. They're all going to miss Saul and his approach to getting things done at the university.